his first sala. You told me you had some little trouble on the track in training. You had one spot that you could knock it over without crashing. How did you manage to stay on your feet when it counted? Uh, I changed my spot a little bit. Yeah, I guess I was stressing a lot a little bit too much, like having negative thoughts, so I changed that. And, you know, yeah. But it was the first drop that was difficult for me. So uh, are, you, are we going to see you in Edmond then? For sure. Yeah. Training hard. Yes, training hard. I'm really hoping that we'll have even an exhibition competition for women in Ireland, in Helsinki or something. And there's going to be other races as well. And I'm going to participate, hoping to get more women involved. Are you going to go to the Riders' Cups? Uh, at least in uh, Finland. Yvaskula, yes. All right, thank you. Emron. What's up? You were up for the win. I, I know you were looking for winning here, uh, like everybody is. But uh, what went wrong there in the finals? Yeah, the finals were a little tough. Uh, obviously, I had a tough heat with all these guys here. Uh, on the way up, I had a skate guard break as well, and I was walking on the pavement with my steel, so I didn't have much of an edge and ran into every board out there. So I probably left my mark. And, yeah. Tough race. Thank you. Dan, your second race ever already on the podium. Tell us a bit about you. Uh, That's this American too. Yeah. Um, you know, every I've, this is my third year or so in St. Paul, and last year I thought I could have done better, and I had a tough break uh, in the round of 64 and went down and. Been thinking about that moment ever since, and training hard um, for this season, and uh, had a great run up at Athens Alps last weekend on that course, um, first final or semifinals, and um, you know my goal for this year was really just to do better, and um, I wanted to make the podium, and it just feels great to to be able to do it in front of the home crowd here. So I guess we have to be aware of you for the upcoming races, right? You know, I, I'm doing I'm, I'm doing this to uh, to win, so that's uh, that's the plan. Keep skating hard. Thank you. So Dean, you were incredibly fast all evening or all weekend, in fact. So uh, can you tell us what did you change from last year? What did you train over the summer? Why did you get so fast? Uh, I worked on my starts a little, and uh, I hit the skate park. I hit the ice. Play a lot of hockey, but uh, not too much. You told me you were training with your brother. Are there any other secrets? No, I think the competition team and my brother helps out. So we try to battle each other, and that's how uh, we get so good. Thank you. <laughs> it's so good. Kyle, you have a big surprise for the evening. Nobody. Or almost nobody would have would have put the money on you today. To be honest, a lot of people had bets going. You were not up there for the money. I feel sorry for you. <laughs> so I mean, you had two tough years. What did you change over the summer to get back? Uh, it's racing, so and it's worth the uh, racing. I mean, you can have a fall or uh, a rough race, so. Just kept my head up and uh, trained over the summer, getting the legs ready for this year, and got my hat trick in Minnesota this year. So, apparently, I like this. Oh, how are you going to keep your head straight now, being in the lead? To do it like you did three years ago? Uh, the confidence is up again, so that's always uh, a good way to get in front again in Finland. Uh, we'll see what happens, but just try and keep doing it. Get the podium and uh, in the finals in the rest of the races this year. All right, congratulations. Thank you. Right, it's now up to you. Do you have more questions? Uh, Kyle, can you talk about uh, the way that uh, heat went beating your brother and then you were in your trouble in fourth place, third place? Uh, Kind of a wild and crazy thing that almost defines the sport, and then uh, to win it like you did in, 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 in the final. Yeah, that was my only bad gate start of the night, but um, Scott was out front, took a little spill. I was right behind Paco the whole time, and just waiting for my chance to pass. You know, someone always mixes up a little bit to get your chance if you're right behind. 
it. So that's the way I did it and uh, managed to get out in front. Uh, the final got a great day start. Uh, Dean was really fast, but uh, my momentum down the down the first corner let me pass him on the inside. Got the whole shot from there and just kept out front. Anybody else? This helped you out to start really uh, in the, the good mood here in St. Paul. I'll whoever wants to. That out. Um, yeah, we put on a really good event last weekend. It was a very well designed course. Uh, the weather didn't, wasn't on our side on the last day, but we got a lot of practice in. It was a fast course, so it definitely got the legs going and uh, our head in the game for sure for this race. Yeah, I, uh, I had the same response pretty much. We put on a great event, and I think that uh, all of us were in the semifinal, and uh, Kyle, Dean, and I were all in the final, so it was nice to have that little boost of confidence and uh, just to feel good and not down the ice again. It was great. I think the Riders' Cup is an awesome addition to, uh, to the tour. Yeah, I, I agree with, with what they said. Um, it's really good to just you know get an event under your belt here before you know kind of the main one at St. Paul. And, uh, we did a great job, uh, as, as usual, putting on uh, an event, and you know it was uh, it was great to build on that uh, coming into the St. Paul here just a week later. So, I mean, it's good to see the riders uh, helping out with the track. I mean, some people came up a week early to help with the tracks, and I know I did. Um, it helped a lot getting the practice runs in and knowing the course and uh, making a final. Yeah, I mean, it helped the confidence and just carried on to this race. Uh, the day announced the advantage of 140,000. Uh, did it feel like you were uh, competing before the largest crowd ever to see one of these things? This is my seventh year, and it's the biggest crowd I've seen in Red Bull Crash Ice history, so usually get about 120,000 and come back, the same thing here, so 140,000 is definitely a new record, and it's, it's really nice to have that crowd roaring and get the adrenaline going to the gates to uh, get you down to the bottom as fast as you can. I, uh, to add, yeah, I thought it was awesome to see that big crowd out here, and I think that the city of St. Paul and Red Bull plan this event perfectly by uh, coordinating it as well with uh, the North Star Cup this weekend and, and us going on, so brings huge crowds into the city, and, and it's just wonderful for the city of St. Paul. Yeah, I think St. Paul has done a great job every year. I feel like um, leading into this event, everybody you ran into was going this year, and I think the, the warm weather really helped because if, if anything, that was the only thing that kept people away in years past because that was just bitterly cold. But <laughs> I think uh, the warm weather and um, just the great job that St. Paul does uh, helped make it what it was. Uh, it obviously shows that the sport is growing, and I hope we uh, keep doing a good job and it continues to grow, so we make it something bigger than it already is. Sorry, what was the question? That was the largest crowd in the history of the sport. Every time you're up there, you get super pumped, like, and nervous, and I love that feeling. You get the adrenaline going, and um, that's what I'm seeing, the feeling when you're nervous, and how you calm your nerves, and just, it was amazing at the atmosphere today, and the crowd was awesome, so I just love it. Every time you get out there, I love it. So did the brothers have any bets between each other? Does he have to buy a drink or something? I wish we had it done that. <laughs> I don't think the Moriarty's can bet on that yet. <laughs> no, we didn't have any drink bets, but uh, no, we're, it's always friendly competition, and I'm happy for him to get uh, for him to get that far in the competition. And he's going to be uh, on the tour right now, so it's going to be good to have him uh, ride along with me during the season. What's the impression? What's the ice? Would you not uh, 
was it easier to run under such weather conditions or worse than in Poland? Um, because of the cooling system, I think they did a good job and the ice was really hard. I mean, the weather was a bit warm, so it was a bit ice, like slushy or wet on the top. But I mean, I weigh 140 pounds soaking wet. So uh, for me, I think it was a little advantage. Towards Kyle, he's like funny and digs in that ice. But uh, overall, the ice is like the best here than anywhere else. So, uh, is there one more? Yeah, can, you just, uh, can you describe that uh, quarterfinal where you uh, came from behind um, to, you know, finish first? Uh, yeah, um, yeah it's, uh, it was a tough heat. I had uh, Marco and Mika in there. I forget who the, uh, who the fourth was, but um, yeah, I, I had an okay start, I believe. Was it Derek Webster maybe in that heat as well? And uh, everybody kind of fell. It was a bit of a pile up, and then uh, yeah, I ended up in third place. I just I trained hard in the off season, so I knew I had the legs there, and uh, kept going, going. I stayed right on Marco's back, and then uh, I was even touching him from time to time. And he even said after the race that I made him a little bit nervous, just knowing I was that close. And they got a little bit of separation on me from the step up to the step down, and then uh, from there, when I went down the step down, I got a good bump and. Uh, just took as many strides as I could and gave it everything I had. And those guys both cleared over the top of the, uh, the camel hump, and I had started staying lower, and I just put one foot down, and that's what I've been doing in training, is practicing staying low and staying fast. The longer you're on the ice, the faster you're going to go, and uh, yeah, I just carried a lot of momentum towards that last corner turn and overtook them. So I was really happy with that result, and as you can probably see, I was pretty fired up. Right, I would say it's time for face-to-face -face interviews. Feel free to hook up with the athletes and the winners. That was it for us. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you.